all set up? Is it, is it perfect? I only want one shot. Is it good? <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I do. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to work in pairs, and here's the other thing too. Um, I'm going to show you these microscopes. So one of the easiest ways for you guys to understand this is you guys have filters on your phones for all different pictures and stuff like that, and everybody has their own filter that they like and the way they like it and stuff like that. So essentially what's, what it is is these, these microscopes have a whole bunch of filters. I want to show you what, what the filters are, and then you can choose what you like. Okay? The other thing is this. Um, as Americans, what makes us good also makes us bad. So if we have like a turbo supercharger, blah, 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 you know, here, like for instance, if somebody lets me borrow their Corvette, yes, no? You guys follow me on this? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my hands on 10 and 2, and I'm going to pull out of the driveway, and I'm going to put the turn signal on, and I'm going to look both ways. And then as soon as I get, a, I get out of ear shot and eye shot, what am I going to do? It's a Corvette. What would you do with a Corvette? <laughs> <laughs> you would tear it up, correct? Okay. I'm going to show you a whole bunch of tools on here, but I don't want you to tear it all up because what's going to happen is you're going to use too many things, and you're not going to get the picture that you want, okay? So um, I'm going to tell you, when I tell you to go, you guys are each going to have like a dog here, okay? So um, when you grab these, okay, these, um, they look kind of old and clunky, but they are expensive and they're particular. This is the arm and this is the base, okay? So when I tell you to go, I want one person, so you're going to work in pairs, okay? And then a uh, young lady in the back, if you can sit up here today, and then you can work by yourself. When I tell you to go, I want you to, one person to go grab a microscope, pull it by the arm and the base, bring it over to your desk, set it up, take this bag off, okay, fold it up in force, put it under the front, just the front half of this, unwind this, having the arm facing you, and then plug it in. That's one person's job. The other person, I want you to come up here and grab one of these Petri dishes and a worksheet for you and your partner. Got it? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Okay, go, go do it. Oh, by the way, do exactly as I say. Don't do anything else. Don't look at anything. Don't do it. Do exactly as I say. Here, grab one of these. Just grab. Wait, 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 sweetheart. Sorry. Just grab, grab the halves. Still filming? Yeah. Still filming? Okay, good. on, turn them off, and you still got me in here. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Good? Okay, good. Okay, so you're, uh, bring it, turn it towards you so it's facing you. So it's facing you like this, guys. Have the arms facing you so you can use it. I forgot your plugs are on the front. It's a little bit different. Um, and also have the bag only on the, under the first half of it. If you have it on the, the whole thing, it's going to be wobbly and sliding all over the place. Pull it towards you. They're not that delicate. Um, just one for you. Yeah, hmm? yeah it's fine. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. And then I don't know how Mr. Weeks might let you guys do it. I usually, if there's if there's some people who are super antsy about using other, uh, like uh, having their own microscope, there's ones over there maybe to let you do it. Okay. So here's the thing, I'm going to show you all the tools. Don't do anything with this. Don't try and look at your hand or do anything. Let me show you how a couple of these things work, okay? So we got the arm and the base. Makes makes good sense, right? Okay. This is called the stage, all right? And then these are called your course adjustment knobs, okay? So what I want you to do is take these and, uh, oh, one other thing. 
With a microscope, because we're going to be looking at stuff really closely on here and super magnified, what happens is um, if you have anything on here and you decide, like, you're sitting here and somebody's sitting here and you're like, oh, I want to look at it, you grab it, move it, you're going to throw everything off on here, okay? So get used to actually standing up, standing up, moving around and getting on this. So maybe if you center between the two of you guys and you can move it around, we're okay with that, okay? All right, so what I want you guys to do is take this knob and I want you to raise it all the way up, okay? We're going to raise this all the way up. Take it all the way up. Now, if it's really hard to move, let me know. But take it all the way up till it stops. Are they all the way up? You got them all the way up? Are any of them falling down slowly? Yes. See how you're falling down? Okay, so what happens is a little bit, if you turn only one, it'll get a little bit loose. So you either got to counter turn it to make it tighter or counter turn it the other way to make it a little bit looser. So if it's really hard to move, you can either let me know or just try and twist them against each other so they'll like loosen up a little bit. Okay? You good to go? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. I already know this. I'm doing this for you. Okay. Now, this thing right here is called the objective. Okay? You see how the little silver ring on here? That's what you're going to use. You're going to turn this. Okay? So right now, you can take it and go ahead and turn it all the way one way so that you see the two X facing out. Okay? <laughs> turn it all the way one way so you can see the two X facing out. Right there. Got it? Get up, you're gonna have to look. Make sure the two X is facing yeah. out. Got it? Yes, no? Yes. Okay, so this is your objective, this is your stage, okay? These are called dissecting microscopes. So they're dissecting microscopes because we use them for dissection stuff yeah. for relatively big stuff. So you need a lot of room underneath here, okay? So one of the questions that you have on here asks you what is the working distance of your microscope, okay? The working distance is the distance between the bottom of this objective and the top of the stage, okay? So when you get to that question, take the ruler, bring this all the way up, measure it out, okay? Do it later, but that's one of the things I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you guys do, okay? Are we good with that? Yes, no? Yes. Okay, now go ahead and read the first question to yourself silently. Get all that information. So one thing I want you guys to do is this. Um, one person, take the microscope, and I want you to turn these eyepieces. These are the eyepieces. I want you to turn these eyepieces. One person, turn the eyepieces back and forth. Okay? See how they move. Okay, so the weird thing with microscopes is this. Everybody always wants to kind of like think that they're all set up. When you move into the microscope, if you're using it, tweak it so that it fits you, okay? Also, turn these eyepieces so you see these little like kind of cups facing on the outside so they can fit your eyes. And so one, and, and if you have glasses on, you can take them off of this. You don't need glasses when you're on, okay? So one person, I want you to take this, get your face all set in there, and make it fit nice and comfortably for you. You're not going to see anything. Get it all set up and make sure it's nice and comfortable for you. Do it now. One person, try it. Get it in there. Try not to move the microscope. Keep it in one spot. Just move your body around. Move your body. Got it? Okay, next person, move it in, move the things around for you. Get it all set up for your, for your eyeballs. Get your balls on. <laughs> all right, you good? Okay, so we're all set up to know what's going on. Okay. Now, the next thing is this. It told you you calculate the, the total magnification. This is what you do. You have an eyepiece magnification, and then you have an objective magnification. Okay. So we're going to do this. You, you have 2x facing out, right? Okay. So now we're going to turn it all the way the other way until the other number is facing out, and then look at that number, see what number that is facing out. Four. Look and see what number is facing out. You have the wrong number facing out. Okay, got it? Okay, what number is facing out? Four. Okay, so here's what we have. Our objective powers, so you have it on there, you have the, the high powers four, the low powers two, all right? Now wait, don't do it yet, don't do it yet, I'll let you work it out. The other way you have to figure out the eyepiece is this. Go look at the eyepiece, turn the eyepiece around so you can see there's going to be some letters and numbers followed by an X on the side of it. Look on the side of your eyepiece. Look on the side of your eyepiece. you got to move it around. Look for some letters and then a number and followed by an X, and that's your magnification for the eyepiece. Okay? Did you find the number? Yes. Did you find the number? Yes. What's the magnification for the eyepiece? 
what's the number that we're looking for? 10. 10, okay? So we got 10 and then 2 or 4, and this is what you do. When you, when you have it on low power, you multiply this by the low power, all right? And if it's on high power, multiply this times this, okay? So go ahead and figure out your total magnifications, make your recording of all that information on there for your low and high power. Do that right now. Work with your partner. Glad you can make it. Okay, we got it? Everybody's checked each other's work and we're all caught up? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, here's one other thing too. Do this when I tell you to do it, okay? So you can take this out, but I don't want you to hold this outside ring in here. You'll notice it's kind of oily. These get cleaned once a year and they're kind of a big deal. Just hold it on the outside when I tell you to go. You're going to grab it, hold it up. Each person's going to grab one. And then you're going to hold it up and look at the light. You ready? Go. Each person grab one. Just don't come, don't touch the other end. Ooh, looks like crap, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> Okay. now put it back. You got it out of your system now. There's always somebody who wants to take it out and figure out what it looks like. It looks like nothing. All right. So now, you got your eyes that you can fit in here. You know how to move that. You know how to lift this up all the way. You know how to turn this all around. Yes, no? Yes. Okay. There's one other thing, too. Some of you guys have these little clips on here, and some of you guys don't, okay? So uh, who has these clips on their microscope? Raise your hand. Who's got only one on their microscope? Who's got two? Who's got none? Okay. If you need these, grab them from somebody else. If you need one, grab them from somebody else. Share or whatever. Mainly what it is, is if you have something that's kind of small on here, or, or especially when you're magnifying it quite a bit, the slightest movement will throw it off. Put them on there, and basically what you're going to do is um, just clip down your sample. So you'll put it on there, pull it down, okay? Another thing that people are afraid to do is if you have something weird, like I have my kids look at like chips sometimes, um, get a piece of paper towel, put it on there so, so that it doesn't get crap all over your stage, okay? So if you need one, grab one. If you don't, if you have one and you're able to share it, do that, okay? All right, so now, do one other thing. Let's go ahead and take, uh, take your Petri dish, and we're going to put it on the stage itself. Take your Petri dish, put it on the stage. So this is what you do. Whenever you have a sample, do this. Put your sample on, and then we're going to lower this all the way down. So you're going to lower it all the way down. You want to go as close as you can. This is really tough. Try to loosen it just a little bit. All right, now that you got it as close as you can, this happens every time you use a microscope. Take it as close as you can and then work your way back until it comes into focus, okay? So one of you guys, put your face in there. Ready? Put your face in there. And don't turn any lights on. Roll it back until you see it in focus. And then stop. Ooh. You see it? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, now wait. Now you're not done. Here's the one thing you'll notice me doing always. Watch up here. If you see me look through a microscope or anybody else looking at the microscope, what you'll see is when they're looking through it, as they're looking at it, they'll go back and forth just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay? So what happens is, don't look through it, is because we're looking two-dimensionally at something that's three-dimensional, um, it's kind of like when you, you take your camera and you focus on something and you got to tap on it and it's got to focus and you see it kind of focus through the different layers. This does the same thing. So you'll see one layer of your sample in focus, but the other ones will be out of focus. So what I do is I go back and forth, and it's called rolling through the depth of field. Okay? So person one who just looked at it, I want you to look at your sample, and then look at it, get it to about focus, and then roll through the depth of field and notice how all the different parts get into focus at different times. Do that now. Ooh. It's pretty full, huh, guys? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, got it? 
Okay, so now that person one, crank it all the way down. Leave it all the way down. Screw it up for the other person. Person two, your turn. Get it in focus, roll through the depth of field, take a look at it. No, we won't go all the way down. We go all the way down. Start from the down position, then you work your way back up. Go all the way down first, and then work your way up. And then once you get it about focused, roll through that depth of field so you can see all the different aspects in, in focus. See it? Critical. Yes or no? Yes. They are quiet. See, now they're screaming. It's you. It must be you, actually. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> all right. Now, the magic moment, okay? That's one of the, the different options on here, okay? Now, person one, you ready? Look at it again. Get it into focus. You got it? Now, look up here for a second. While you're looking at it, grab your, grab your silver ring while you're looking at it and turn it all the way the other way. Ew! Now, now that you're on the other one, now focus it a little bit more with your knobs and get it perfectly in focus. You got it? Did you get dizzy? It's all kaleidoscopy. Yes or no? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, person one, let person two look at it for just a second now that you have it perfect and it's all in, in focus. Ooh. Yes? Okay. Now, person one, go back, put it on low power, put it back to low power. Drop it all the way down again. Person two, jump on there. Get your eyeballs in here. Get it focused. Grab the silver ring on the objective. While you're looking at it, turn it over to high power. Ooh, are you dizzy? And then once you got a high power, focus it in again. Much better focus on the high power. You know what's funny on this one? No, that's right. Okay. All right, you got it? Okay. So here's the one thing I want you to understand. So don't be afraid to move stuff. So when you're looking through here, okay, person one, look at it. Put your eyeballs in there. Listen in, make sure it's in focus. You got it in focus? Yeah. Grab your Petri dish ever so slightly and move your tray around so you can see all the different stuff that's on the tray. Move it all the way around. You got it? Mm -hmm. Is it making you dizzy? No. Yes. <laughs> okay. So two things. You don't have to use high power. You don't have to use low power. You don't have to use lights. You don't have to stay at the one spot. Move it around. Don't be afraid to move around. Just get in there and start looking and finding stuff, okay? It's not going to be in that one spot necessarily, okay? Now, uh, person uh, two, jump on there. Look through it, make sure you're moving around a little bit. Take a look at the different stuff as you're moving around. You, may, you probably have some dirt and crap in there too that you can look at. <laughs> Getting dizzy? Yeah. Who's getting dizzy, the person looking through it or the person sitting down and not looking through it? <laughs> okay, got it? <laughs> All right, now let's try the next ones that I know you want to leave for. Okay, now go back to low power, go back to low power. Person one, make sure you're in a focused spot. Make sure it's nice and focused. And then listen to my directions. All right, you ready? Find the light button on the right-hand side. On the right-hand side. You are, are you in focused? Are you focused? Yes. All right, turn on the right-hand light. Okay, turn it off. Find the left-hand button. Turn that one on. Turn that one off. Now ready? Here comes, here comes the magic. Turn both of them on. Ooh. Now turn them off. Person two, you're so jealous right now. Turn them off. Okay, now, here's what I want you to do. Every, every light and every picture has its own thing. There's like filters. It's like, what do you like? What do you like? Okay, between you and your partner, you have two minutes. I want you to look through it, focus, try all the different lights and figure out if you like no lights on, one light on, the other light on, or if you like both lights on. Ready? You ready? Yes. Two minutes, go. Figure it out with your partner. <laughs> For this sample, this sample, I like the I like this one. Because it gives it nice shots. Take a look at it. 
Try both. For this sample, I like this light on only. Because you have some nice shadows going on. Yeah. I like that one too. Okay. Decide with your partner what you like. decision between you and your partner, right? You know what you like? Okay. Yeah. So the left-hand light is called the transmission light. The right-hand light is called the incident light. Okay. You don't have to memorize that, but I'm going to use those terms, okay? You have them down? Yeah. Right here, I'll just do this one. How many of you guys like left-hand light only as a group? Right-hand light only as a group. Both lights on as a group. No lights on as a group. Okay. I, for me personally, this sample, I like the right hand light only, the one that comes down from the top, because it gives a good shadowing for me and for this sample, okay? Here's what I want you to understand. If you have a block of wood that you're trying to look at, how good is the bottom light going to do you? The one coming from the bottom, how much good is that going to do you? Zero good. So look at the different things and see what you can play with and look at the different pictures you have, okay? You good to go with that? Okay. So we have different focuses, different uh, magnifications. We have these things on here. Now I want to show you one more thing. You're going to take your hands, you're going to make a circle. Now, and then you're going to hold it out like this, looking at me in the nose, looking at my nose, tip of my nose. So you're going to have it out, look on the tip of my nose. This is high power. When you're looking at the tip of my nose, all the way up. Got it? Now bring it all the way back on low power. And then high power, tip of my nose, low power, tip of my nose. Okay. Hold it, keep doing it. Go back to which, go back to high power again. Look at the tip of my nose. Through your hole. Look at <laughs> Through your hole, ready? <laughs> then go back to low power. Which one can you see more of me at? On high power or low power? Low power, low power you can see more of me, but high, so here's the thing. Sometimes you want to see more stuff, so you're going to go to low power. Sometimes you want to see better detail, so you're going to go to high power. Okay? Thing is, when you go to high power, you see less of this stuff. And it's almost like if you, when you're on your camera too, you know how you get the picture on your camera and you tap on that and it zooms in and you lose all the other stuff? Yeah. That's what you got to think. Okay? That's called the depth of, sorry, um, of the field of view. What you see in here is called your field of view. So if you're in high power, your field of view is going to be smaller. If you're low power, your field of view is going to be a lot greater. It's just going to have less magnification. Make sense? Okay. Go to the last question. Number four. Oh, turn your, make sure your lights stay off. Get in, get in the habit of that. Just don't, don't leave them on, don't leave them on, don't leave them on. Um, when you guys get to the other microscopes, you'll put one drop of water on the slide. If you have a drop of water with a light on it the whole time, what's going to happen to that drop of water? It's going to evaporate. And if you have a cover slip on top, it's going to cement it in place. So try and get those off, and you can always turn on whenever you want. Okay. Read through number four. So go ahead and lift your microscope one more time. Person one, look through there. See how you see a big circle? That's our field of view. That's what we're observing. So we're not writing down numbers. We're recording what we observe, OK? So I'm going to try and squeeze it in over here because he's got writing over here. You can, you can do that. OK. Right? Care. Basically, what you're going to do, don't do it now. You're going to make a big circle. And then you have to title what you're seeing. OK, so what are we looking at? Salt crystals, so I'm going to put salt crystals on top. And then whatever magnification at you're at, you want to report. Okay, So you have to figure that out. So on the bottom, you put 20x or 40x, whatever we're at. You just figure out which one of these you're at. Okay, um, Make sure you put some good detail or decent detail. Um, but the easy way to do that, real quick, and you can do it right now. Don't make your circle. I said don't do it yet. Take your Petri dish, put it in that blank spot. Now you can draw a big circle on there. It's already in there. Isn't that smart? Yeah. <laughs> big box. Big box. Okay, one of you guys got it drawn at least. Just one of you guys. Okay, make sure you both get it, but one of you for right now. Okay, now now put it back or put it off the side. 
Here's what I want you to understand. You ready? This is what you guys, so nice for you guys now. Uh, because when we were kids and we were using microscopes back in the day, a long time ago, I want to see what I have to report, right? So I would draw a little bit, look, draw a little bit, look, draw a little bit, look. Partner, your turn. Draw a little bit, look, draw a little bit, look. Is there a way we can make that easier? Take a picture. It works really nicely. There's these little grommets on here. You shouldn't have to take them off, don't. You shouldn't have to take them off. This is up to your teacher. I tell them if you really have to, do it, but just you really shouldn't. Your camera should be able to kind of see in there, hit it, focus it, take a picture, and that way you can put it right on your desk and you saw what you want to see, you got it all perfectly done. Don't take it off, okay? <laughs> but but uh, don't do it yet. Hang on, I'll let you get you figure it out with your teacher. Um, you can do video on these things as well, okay? But the thing is, this is the worst thing, is the kid who spends 45 minutes trying to figure out how to get a picture, it's like, this is supposed to save you time, ladies and gentlemen, not cost you a bunch of time, okay? So I'll let you guys work that out, okay? So you want to take over? That's the basic instruction. What do you want to do? What do you have well, to do? I would tell you to do uh, here. I'll t this. I to, I would have you finish off all of one through th one through three. Okay. Make sure you're good with that. Rulers are up here. Get number four done. That way I know you're proficient at what you're doing. Okay. Now watch. Flip to the back side. Read number five with your partner together out loud. Read it out loud with your partner. Okay, so you can take pictures, you can, there's colored pencils I'm sure that are going to be available and other items are in there. You have to get the first part done first, okay? Then I will let you look at, I, I let my kids look at whatever they want within reason, okay? Uh, a lot of kids will say, can I look at spit? Boys, I know you want to do it. Don't, it looks dumb, okay? And I don't want bodily fluids over this thing. Um, there's a variety of objects that, that you can go They're through. over there. Yeah, uh, that also, but just your everyday things, you guys with glasses, you look at the hinge of your glasses. Basically, here's the thing, anything that can come in contact with your skin uh, has a lot, or anything that's electronic, like the earpiece of your phone uh, that's electrostatic will attract dirt and oil and the cells and stuff like that. So you can look at the screen of your phone when there's a picture on there. You can look at the earpiece of your phone. You can look at your, your ID picture. You can look at um, um, earring backings, necklace hasps, $5 bills. If you look at the top of the Lincoln Memorial, there's, you can see all the state names on there. Dollar bills, you can look in there. Coins, <coughs> eraser heads, um, the, the tip of your pencil. Um, you can look at just papers, pretty cool. Like, can you look at it? Um, you, if you have a cut on your hand, you can just kind of hold it still right on here and take a look at it. There's a bunch of stuff that you can look at. Everyday items that are on there that would kind of blow your way a little bit and that, that look really cool. Try it on high and low power. But don't do this until you get this all checked off. Good enough? Yes. All right. So, tell them to go. Rulers are up here. Get the front part Rulers checked up off. Here, We're and then go. over by Cooney. There's a variety of different things. Everything from bug parts. Microfilm to, uh, on there. I like the chips are my favorite. Chips, chips are gross. Here's a feather. Make sure you use a paper towel for the chips, though. Print piece. There's nothing here you can kind of weed through. You know, like a piece of an object. Do the front part first. Things like Make that. Sure you get the front taken care of for you. So um, don't don't grab the uh, pond water. Don't do that yet. Um, Make sure you get the uh, make sure you get the front part done.